What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a review. This is my first review um, ever. Um, sorry about having posted in a while. Um, I tried to make a couple videos and it was cold out. Couldn't catch any fish so I decided to scratch them but I'm going to come out with some review videos when it's cold and I can't fish so yeah. Uh, today we're going to be talking about my favorite real brand ever. Okay now you probably already could tell by the thumbnail of this video that it's Shimano, by the way. Shimano is a great company, let me tell you. Their reels are by far some of the best reels I've ever used. I've tried multiple different companies, Luz, Daiwa, um, what's the, uh, Abu Garcia, 13 Fishing, all those brands. Shimano beats them out. It's not even a close race. One of the closest competitors is probably Daiwa, but I have like a $130 Daiwa reel. And my, I have a couple of $100 Shimano reels that I don't have with me right now that beat out that reel. Like, it's not even close. Like, it's a $30 cheaper reel, and I'd rather use it all day. Um, some of the reels I have today are the Shimano Curato 200, which is by far my favorite Shimano reel I own. Uh, the Shimano Sitica. The Shimano Nasi spinning reel. My favorite spinning reel, for sure. And the Shimano Sahara spinning reel, which I don't... I like this when I first got it. This is my first spinning reel by Shimano. It's a little bit more of a beefier reel, though, if you're going to get into that. But definitely, if you guys are looking for just a really good... Not an entry-level reel, but just overall a really good reel, I definitely recommend the Shimano Curato. Curato is one of their well-known um, series. They have been out for the longest time, and they are only getting better as time comes. Um, I bought this for $150. Um, I think you might be able to get it for cheaper now. I'm not sure what the price is right now. But like I said, it's one of the best reels. Casts like a dream. It's got insane drag. I like. I never bird cast with this reel. Now this, this is what I use for my jigs, my bottom baits, anything like that. Then we'll go on to the Sitica, which is the same size. But I use this as a topwater reel, and it it's powerful. It is really powerful. Like if you need... A powerful, good reel to get, you know, fish out of thick grass, heavy cover, whatever you need. This reel can do it. I, I, this reel can handle that for sure. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of all of the reels. So here, like I said, is the Curado 200. Very beautiful reel. Fits perfect in your hand. There's the Sitico, which is it's close... Brother, it is very similar reels. Only difference is the color and the couple like of the mechanics on the inside is different. But to me, I really don't prefer one over the other. It's just I'd use them for different things. Very nice reels. Then, like I said, this reel is by far one of the reels by Shimano that just completely blows me away. This reel retails for $100, okay? $100. It is one of the best spinning reels I've ever used in my life. This is a 2500 size reel, perfect for drop shotting, perfect for whatever you really need. Um, and this, here's another one that we'll move on to, the Shimano Sahara, which again, this reel is, is not bad by any means, but this reel, it's a little bit more beefier. If you're using like, like some heavier weights, anything heavier tactics, I would definitely recommend this over that. This is a 3000, so it is supposed to be a bit bigger, but just in general... Just in general, it is bigger. Um, I use the Nasi for mainly, like I said, pretty much any size drop shot weights, uh, Ned rigs, um, pretty much all that. And then the Sahara I will use if I'm using like, like I'm not using any weight, I'm using like a finesse worm or maybe like a craw or something like that. And sometimes um, uh, shaky heads, I'll use this too if it's like a super light shaky head. Um, but like I said, then I also have two... I think one. One or two reels. I have a Shimano Kanan, which is also a $100 reel. That is, if you guys are looking for a starter, entry-level starter reel for beginners, $100 Shimano's Kanan is absurd. I use that for all my jigs, except the ones I use on this, which are, this is like my heavier jigs. That one's like some lighter lit jigs and stuff. It just varies. That reel is the best entry-level entry level reel I've ever seen in my life. That is definitely a very good reel. Definitely recommend that. Look at that. Then Shimano just came out with their Shimano SLX, which 
That basically, because if you look on like Shimano, I think Tackle Warehouse right now does not carry the Kanan, the Caius, and the... There's one more. The Casitas. They don't carry those anymore on Tackle Warehouse, I noticed. They replaced it with their new entry-level reel, which is the Shimano SLX. That is an also a $100 reel. I've heard great things about it. It looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. I thought about buying it. I haven't, though. Uh, I think I'm going to try and get like a little bit more of an expensive reel from them. Try other things. I might go for the new Curado K. That reel looks insane. Um, but the, like I said, the SLX is also probably a very good option. Pretty much anything by Shimano I would trust. They are a very reliable company. They make the best reels. They've been making the best reels forever. If you go back and look at some of their old Curados, their old um, Antares, like those reels are just insane. They, those are some insane reels. You have got to look at them. One reel that I've always wanted, and I've never had the money to buy it, is the Aldebaran. That reel literally is like a finesse casting reel. It is insane. I want that reel really badly. Um, but like I said, the SLX, from what I've seen, it looks like an amazing reel. The only thing I don't like about it, it's got like a big decal on the side that says SLX. It takes up like this whole cover right here, which, I mean, if you're getting a hundred dollar reel, there's gotta be something that you don't like. And if I'd rather it be have like something like the detail on it, I'd rather it be that than like the internals. Cause I'm sure it's a great reel. I haven't used it myself, but I would trust it. Um, so yeah. Another, I will talk about the Sitica now. The Sitica, like I said, it is super close. Like, look at these reels next to each other. They look like the exact same reel, to be honest. Just different colorways. They are pretty much the same for what mar for the most part. They're the same price tag. I think the Curado started at like 180, and this was always at 150. Maybe it was the other way around. It might have been this was at 180. I got them both for 150, and I can say I feel like the Sitica might have an edge, which is honestly the weird part because. Most people go crazy about the Curado. They think it is by far the best. But if I were to pick your Curado or the Sitica of these two models, I would go with the Sitica. I think the Sitica, I think it casts better. I don't think it necessarily handles fish better. I think it just does cast better. I can cast a spook with this thing a mile. Like it is, it's insane. And then same thing, what goes for this thing, this goes for, the, this is the same thing though. I can cast like a quarter ounce jig with this thing super far. It's crazy. It's just absurd because you'd think, you know, oh, a quarter ounce jig is not that heavy. You're not going to be able to cast that thing very far, especially in wind. I've gone out in windy days, not gotten a bird's nest the entire day, throwing like a quarter ounce weights with this reel right here. It's insane. So definitely, I would recommend the Curado over everything if you can afford it. But if you can't, I would definitely look at the Canaan. The Canaan does have a little bit of an issue with wind. I've had a couple t instances where it's been windy and I've struggled. I've had to move up to a little bit heavier weights and just tighten up that drag too. Not the drag, the I'd have to tighten up the the braking system to make sure I don't get any backlashes, which do, which will hinder your casting distance just a little bit. But it's still a phenomenal reel. I think it's much better than anything else you're going to get. Some other brands that I would like to talk about is Daiwa. I do have one Daiwa reel. However, it's not with me right now. It is a Daiwa Tatula CT, I believe it is like one hundred thirty dollar reel or one hundred forty dollar reel. That reel I used for jerk baits. It is a great reel. I'm not gonna like say it's bad by any means. It's just you can't compare it to these Shimano's. I don't think it. I don't really get backlash with it. But when I when I cast that thing, like you can, I can feel the difference between that and this. And they are like the same price tag, so I can compare these and I can feel the difference when I cast it. It is nowhere near as smooth, doesn't cast as far, it just, it doesn't feel as nice in general, it feels like a cheaper reel, it doesn't feel as high quality and as well built as these Shimano's, and that's, that is another thing about these Shimano's, these things are literally built like a tank, like, it just feels like it's like such high, nice quality, which is one case that a lot of other companies need to work on, like, for instance, um, Daiwa has a little bit of an issue with that, but not too bad. Um, Abu Garcia, though, those reels can cast. I'm going to say that. They have a terrible build quality, though. I don't think da Abu Garcia's are built like that good at all. I got my first ever casting reel was, a, was an Abu Garcia, um, shoot, I forget the name. An Ab I don't remember the name. It was some Abu Garcia. It was like a hundred dollar, maybe a little bit more, uh, casting reel. Great first reel. And it, it felt really nice to me because I'd never really experienced anything, but it felt like a good reel. Abu Garcia, they're a good company, but I just, I don't see, 
there, there's a there's a big difference between Abu Garcia reels and these Shimano's, and I can't express that enough. Um, uh, more other brands like I've never bought another other I've never bought another brand since I bought that Daiwa, and other other brands to mention are Lose and Thirteen Fishing. Now these reels I have experienced. I've used these. I've used them before, and I don't really have anything to say about them other than I'm probably never gonna buy one. I don't think I'm ever gonna spend my money on anything else besides the Shimano from this point forward, just because they're that good. Like I, I don't, there's no way that I can explain this well enough other than you guys personally going out, buying one of these reels, using it, and you will see what I mean. Like if you have, say you have one of those brands I mentioned and you, then you go and buy a Shimano for your first time, then you will know what I'm talking about. But other than that, anyone who does, has never used a Shimano, you are not going to understand this, but but they are by far the best reels any company makes. Um, I hope you guys like this review video. Uh, I tried to make a couple fishing videos like a couple weeks ago when it was freezing cold out. I just, I didn't catch any fish. It didn't go out well. So I didn't post it. I just scratched them. Um, but let me know if you like this because when it's freezing cold out and, and it, all the ponds in my area are frozen over, I can't fish. So I thought I'd make some review videos. Um... Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, I'm definitely going to continue this as a series. I'm going to talk about, in a series, my favorite brands for all different types of bass fishing equipment. This was obviously the real video. Um, if this does well, I'll probably make another, I'll probably make a rod video, maybe soft plastics, hard baits, top waters, jigs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. Um, if you like the video, leave a like down below. Comment down below what you think about Shimano. If it is it your favorite brand or is some other brand your favorite? Because obviously this is just opinion-based video, but in my opinion, it's not even a close race. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.